A couple weeks ago, we introduced our Unreal Engine MCP server and showed you how to set it up. The response has been really great, and our Discord had a bunch of people wanting to run it themselves to build castles and cities, and even one guy got it working with Blender as well. Today we're going to go deeper into the details. I'm going to show you a couple new tools we've added in the past few weeks, pull back the curtain on how this actually works under the hood, and most importantly, we want to share our vision for turning this experimental tool into something production ready that could change the way you interact with Unreal Engine. First, let's look at what's new since our last update. We've added two new fun tools. The first one is creating a bridge that emulates the Golden Gate Bridge. Let's take a look at the prompt. Create a stone bridge spanning 2,000 units with support pillars. The new Create Bridge tool isn't just placing a mesh. It's calculating support positions, it's adjusting for terrain, and ensuring structural coherence. You can specify materials with architectural style. It could be medieval, modern, even a sci-fi energy bridge. And here's a special one for the world builders. Build a Roman aqueduct system connecting these two points. The Create Aqueduct tool creates a massive looking Roman bridge, and the beauty of this one is it has a bunch of different parameters to change its appearance, like the number of arches, the radius, how many tiers, and much more that can be used to make it as dynamic as possible. We also made an important change to the naming of the actors being spawned when the names are duplicated. Let me show you why this matters. Before when I would say something like create five cubes named test cube, you would get an error because you couldn't spawn an actor with the same name as another one that's already existing. Now watch, same command, but each cube's gonna get a unique trackable name. The AI can reference them individually, delete specific ones, or manipulate groups. This could seem small, but it's foundational for complex scene management, and will always dynamically change the actor's name if it detects one spawning in with an existing name already. Now before we get into the details, I just want to point out almost 90% of our viewers aren't subscribed. If you're finding this interesting, please hit that subscribe button. The next MCP video is going to be a full walkthrough of every single tool, what it does, how to use it, and detailed prompt examples you can copy and paste. So you won't want to miss that one. Alright, let's talk about what's really happening under the hood, the challenges we're facing today, and after that I'll tell you about where we see this going. Look at our create town function. This is literally 500 lines of nested loops and predetermined patterns. You can see what's happening. Every parameter the AI sends, town size, style, density, it just switches between hard-coded presets. There's no real understanding of what a town is. But here's the real problem. We have about 30 plus separate tools, right? Create town, create castle, create bridge, create house, create maze. Each one re-implements basic operations like spawning, transforming, applying materials. There's massive code duplication at the end of the day. When the AI says create a large medieval castle, here's what's actually happening. AI sends this, and our code does this. We're not interpreting large, we're just looking it up in a switch statement. The AI might as well be pressing buttons labeled 1, 2, 3. But let's talk about the biggest challenge we're facing. Watch what happens when I do this. Create a tower at 000, and now create a house at 100, 000. The system has zero spatial awareness right now. It doesn't know what's already in the scene, where object boundaries are, how to avoid collisions, or how to place things relative to existing objects. This is a massive problem to make a production level application. Here's why spatial awareness really is everything. If you think about it, when you tell someone, put the lamp on the table, your brain does incredible calculations. First, it has to find the table surface. Second, it needs to understand what on means. Third, it needs to know it needs to be touching the table. And fourth, it needs to ensure the stable placement. Now that we've talked about the challenges, let's talk about where this is going and what the updates will look like going forward. Right now, as we talked about earlier, we have one LLM call and that has 30 hard-coded tools, each doing similar things differently where the AI has to decide which one to choose and it only gets more challenging for it to choose the right one as the tools stack up. The future of this project is one single dynamic agent. This agent will understand every Unreal Engine action and it will be able to execute each function necessary in order for the task to be completed. No matter what it is, one request becomes a plan of atomic, reusable actions, no more maintaining 30 plus different spawn functions. 
This system will be conversational and context aware. Here's a very small example of how an interaction can possibly go with this agent interacting back with you. User can say, place some houses alongside the road. AI responds with a question asking which one as the user has multiple road systems. User answers the question for the AI. The AI comes up with a plan to execute the request with all the parameters shown in the message for sizing and spacing, etc. User can then make any tweaks to the plan before the AI executes the task. And as you can see, the system will detect ambiguity before execution. It will ask one clarifying question at a time. It learns your preferences. And the most important part is this agent will have spatial awareness. We're building this to allow users to be able to work with an agent to build out entire scenes and hopefully an entire game one day. Think of it as having an expert Unreal Engine developer as your assistant. Available instantly, understands your project's context and conventions. And from here we're going to document the build of this agent end to end so you can follow along and we will be letting everyone know once this is available for public use. I'll try my best to post weekly updates across our social medias with new capabilities, architecture notes, and real project examples. If you want to try this MCP version that has the specific tools, the GitHub repo is linked in the description. Star it, open issues, and PRs are welcome. If you want to chat or show us what you're building, join the Discord. Thank you to our Patreons as always, and subscribe if you want those weekly progress videos. See you then.